That's uh, Jack's character. I think he looks suspicious. Wow, we can actually see the uh, oil rig from here. It's amazing how windy it is up there. Yeah. Okay, 49 meters. I don't know what the length of the rope is. I bet you could put a meter in here to show you the length. Yeah, there's um, you can put like a a, a digital display or a dial on that, and it tells you the cable length. Let me get ready to drop. Or me. Yep. So it's done. Drop. We need to do anything? Just drop it. Consider it dropped. Awesome. What did we get then? I didn't read it. Uh, I think I saw another fluid spawner, but I didn't see any, any of the other stuff. I don't know if anyone in the chat saw it. Right, deactivate the mission. Yes, uh, N. And let's head directly north. There's. Um, three plots of land that we could buy and an island that we could uh, see what the money... Do you want control back? Uh, I don't mind either way. Okay, just gives you something to show the stream rather than me doing it. Okay. Uh, let me jump out of the stick. Thanks. And I'll winch the cable in. And your spotlight's still on there, yeah. Lights is off. Cables up. I think it's quite a fun game, Diesel Power, because you can design, like, you know, you should see some of the things that people have built. The nuts. Your follow has not showed up. You follow or all your sub, Gordon? Hey, Rob. Honestly, this thing needs a your damper. Uh, Elsa Manford, thank you for two months. And the resume, thank you. There's a little island that comes up first, and then there's like that bigger piece of land. Yeah, it's quite interesting, Diesel, because, um, say, like with Kerbal, you build with components, but the components can be created by modders. With this, it's like you assemble it from blocks. And apart from things like specialist equipment, like winches and lights and all that kind of stuff, the main structure is assembled just by snapping pieces together. Can you have a refund on what, Gordon? Uh, Gordon, I don't know if you were subbed on Twitch, but Twitch never refunds subs, as far as I'm aware. I think I see another air control tower on that smaller island. Clicked on the heart crown icon, and it had a link and said, in order to be a follower, you must pay $100. Uh, not on my channel, 
Gordon. I've never heard of that on Twitch before, to be honest with you. Welcome uh, Durable, welcome back. I don't think anybody pay a hundred dollars to follow a channel. <laughs> You're very new to Twitch. Yeah, but that literally doesn't happen. That's a big runway. Ooh, nice big runway. You make planes? Yeah. I'm not really sure what you use them for, though. Transporting large equipment. You can make seaplanes. You can have seaplanes that are firefighting planes as well. I've seen all sorts being done with planes. No, follow on a sub, very different. Tower, though. Very, very different. We get any freebies? Well, oh. there's nothing in there, but they might put a vehicle in there when we, when we no, buy it. Yeah, they won't suddenly spawn. We've got enough to buy two of these three. So, I mean, it's if I don't know if you want to check the other two first and then see which ones we want to buy or the yeah. other way around. I'm just going up in the silent elevator. Okay. Wow, well, it just brings you out to a balcony. Oh, hang on, there's some stars. Ooh. I love the lights above the door that tell you what floor it's on. It's almost like the... It really is like an ATC control tower. It's nuts. No elevator music there. I'm disappointed. Oh, hello there. Yeah, the staircase that goes up to the tower. Annoyingly, you can't jump off this thing. Oh, no, you can't, because it won't let you jump between the gap. Oh, well, I did it. He says as he jumps off. Took a while. It does sound like you've signed up for Amazon Prime, to be honest. In which case, Amazon would just give you a refund. So we've got one directly north and one slightly to the west. What, well, northwest? Look out for boxes. Yep, I am. No, if it's if it's Amazon Prime, it's an annual. It's an annual cost, not a monthly cost. Like another hangar, another airstrip. Bit rusty there. Why is there a barn next to another field? Some houses too. Is that a box? No, I don't see one. Hmm. Might be one inside the barn if you can get inside of it. If you there's some windows above the front the hangar door, if you can hover above them, might be able to see. 
Is there an actual door on it? On the hangar, yeah, it's around the front. There's some windows just above the door. Can't see anything in there. Yeah, no, I don't see anything. The other one is directly west. I wonder where that road goes. And that's another large dock. So this has a large hangar and a large dock. Yeah, it just has both. No freebie though, it's annoying. Yeah. I guess you only get the one free chopper. If you look around, there's bound to be a box. Yeah, there's a road that goes off into the upper hills, so there might be something right up on top. Terrain. Pull up. Terrain. Terrain. Pull up. Pull up. It's a big island with no boxes. Yeah. I feel a little bit conned. There is an X in the middle of the island, though. It says Isle of Donk. I don't think there's any freebies on this island. I'm pretty certain we're flying right into a big headwind right now. Is this? Oh, it's like the fishing village we were at before. And another church. Did we come to this island before? No, it's, it's just laid out the same as the other fishing village. So, is this the Isle of Donk? Yeah. And do we want to buy anything here? Um, I'd suggest maybe buying the um, the large dock, which is forty. Ah, uh, the. the it Costa. Probably not the hangar, because the hangar here is 50. We've only got 87. But if we buy the large dock for 40, and then we fly back to that island and buy the other hangar for 30, that'll leave us with 17 grand. Uh, Rob1987, thank you for gifting us up to Gordon Ramsay Official. And then there's two tiny little islands you can buy for 100 grand.
Wait, what's this? Um, secret base? Is there a Bond villain around? Let's see if there's anything in the shed. Wait, there's a cave system goes down there, see it? I think they're mining. Yeah. Got to be a box down here. Maybe this is making you work for your lunch this time. Yeah. We should have brought like a little quad with us. WK, how you doing? You just woke up. Oh dear. Well, this one I went through just sort of comes out of a cliff face on another part of the island. Well, this one just goes into a giant cave. Looks like you're playing Astro in here. Which has another two tunnels going off it. ATM in Australia, fair enough, we'll let you off. <laughs> Man from the future. Next thing you'll be telling me it's Saturday. Flamingo Seeds, how you doing? You just got a G27 shift. while you're exploring that cave? I'm way back, okay. Oh boy. No. <laughs> oh, rip. I pressed the wrong key. Oh, they can't get back in. And Jack's AFK. <laughs> uh oh. I literally pressed the wrong key. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> There's just no way to get back in. It's on auto hover. But it auto hovers and keeps rising for some stupid reason. By the time he gets back, he'll be at like flight level 3-0. <laughs> Come on. Well, well, well. Going to bring yourself back down after jumping into the pilot seat. Well, this is a predicament. Yeah, I was I was about three feet off the ground and I pressed the F key by accident and then I couldn't get back in because the stupid <laughs> thing just took off. Nicely done.
Right, so where do we want to go? Um, see, some of the island, like, just fly to the west to that 100 grand island. Island for sale, 100,000 it says. Let's go and see what's there, see if you can see, like, something inside. Like, why does it cost 100,000? Jeez, that wind is strong. Yeah, that wind is... the wind is absolutely nuts. We do find a bed to sleep on and then we can skip the night. What's, is that li a light on slightly southwest of us? Uh, there is something flickering in the distance. Yeah. It might be the other hundred grand island. Yorkshire tea mug, absolutely. Some kind of cove? That's true, Doctor D. You could just wire the dome lights to the ignition. Then, Paul, I think I saw a box where there was I three you could take houses a boat inside. on the second island. Oh, we're not going back now, Benner. We're not going back now. What oh, is that? Like a house? Oh, I know why this is expensive. What? It's um, it's a base building island. So you can like build your own base onto it. A base building island. Yeah, so the sort of the editor that you used to build like planes and choppers and boats used the same editor to build like a build like a base with like big awesome opening doors or you know whatever. Since when was that a thing? Um it's been a thing for a little while. Well, I didn't realize it was actually in the in the career mode. I thought it was just a creative. Well, that's worth saving 100k for if we've got 87. Yeah. Another mission or two, and we can build a base. Because they, uh, that that workbench just to our right in front of us there, that's the one for building the base. Oh yeah, workbench purchase island to use. And then there's another one over here, which allows you to then build. Ooh. I guess this will just be ships. It's a normal workbench inside here as well. We can build a submarine. Yeah. So you could do boats, you could do whatever you want from here. Hmm. It's basically a whole creative base. So you can do this in the career mode as well. Apparently so. I, I, like I said, I only thought it was in uh, creative. Let's um, fast travel and sleep. Uh, yes, I'll bring the chopper back. Yeah, so what's on the other 100k island then? Probably more of the same. Ah, okay. It spawned me underneath the hangar, so that's helpful. <laughs> I fast travelled into the tower. Oh no, I didn't want to get out of it. Was there two beds in the tower? Don't remember. There's one bed here. Let me check further up. See, at least when you build your own base, you can put enough beds in it. Yeah. No, I'll just teleport to another tower and sleep there. Okay. Okay. I mean, I'm in sleep sleeping. mode. Blimey, that went by quickly. So we keep sleeping until it says there's a mission. 
Kill do, I think, yeah. Try it, let's try it, let's find out. Right, I'm in sleep mode. There you go. Bing bong. So yeah, there you go, you can just do that. Deliver equipment to power station. Three cases Where's of testing it? equipment are in a boatyard and are required for radiation testing in Sky Company nuclear power station deliver the crates to the loading bay in the upper level. It's that one we had when we were messing about before. We've got to take those boxes over to the um, power station. Oh, we can do it in the cargo boat then. Yeah, just had a fly over there. It's a bit rainy now. Choppy seas make it fun, huh? <laughs> yeah. Cargo boat one. Oh, one's gone out. I think you missed. Hey, mine landed inside. There you go. Wait. I'm good to go. It's quite an effective little boat, actually. It is. We're heading north, aren't we? Uh, we're heading north, well, west northwest. Have a taxi service run for the girlfriend of one of her girlfriends down to Brighton in a couple of weeks. You're dropping off to see, you're dropping them off to see Mutley. Why would they want to see Mutley? Tommy, where's his nearest airport? You think, Silverbird? Oh, lid. Um, bite zero, welcome sir, welcome. Sorry, I'm just checking something. Sorry, that's a 41 minute flight time for me. And that's going round South End. Thanks, Rob. Mm. 
man, this thing is slow compared to the chopper, eh? Yeah. We're only getting about 10 out of her in these waves as well. Well, if we can get 100k, we can get our own island to build on. I'm not sure yet, Davy Quick. That little extra lip up on the very back there gives me a bit more security about the freight not falling out. Yeah, it's definitely handy for not letting it fall out. Five hour drive? Five hour drive, something? What? Dude, that's crazy. Hey, if it wasn't for South End, it'd be a lot quicker. You have to go round it. Well, you don't have to, but. Something gets very chatty. Nice to brighten and brighten to Motley's. Isn't You'll want to head round west? to the north side of the island. Uh, somebody lives up in uh, Norfolk. North side? Yeah. John Vezza, how are you doing, sir? Try designing a plane for the lols. <laughs> I don't think we have anything we need for a plane at the moment. Oh, yeah, I don't know if you have any wings or anything. Yeah, there's wing blocks and then you need um, control surfaces. Yeah, I remember the... Uh, we don't have any uh, aircraft props. We've only got the uh, propellers for helicopter. I think we have got a component of an aircraft, an engine or a propeller or something. Yeah, I remember the um, the wind turbine at this that I flew over. Two thirds. How you doing? Games like this are just, like, infinitely playable. Oh, yeah. You can just design all kinds of crazy stuff. They give you the bricks and you just make whatever you want with it. This is one of the best, like, building games for, you know, building vehicles and stuff like that that I've played for maybe ever. Yeah, I need to try out the advanced stuff and see how that rocks. Yeah. Before we finish, I should uh, I should load up uh, one of my advanced creations and show you how advanced it can get. Yeah, we should do that. That cooling tower. There's a, a couple of really fun missions at the nuclear power plant. Is it scrap mechanic where as soon as you put a wheel on the whole sandbox freaks out? Oh, that's um, some swordfish. Scrap mechanic, we found the limitations of scrap mechanic fairly early. We're making that giant, remember that elevator that turned like that? And it was so big, the game just couldn't deal with it.
Nice parking job. Thanks. Come back doing that from the boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I scrapped my counters a while ago. I'm gonna press the button. Mate and I drive from Newcastle in February to a mate's wedding. According to Google Maps, it'll be a seven hour, 14 minute drive from Truro. Come on, boy. In all seriousness, can you not just get like an easy jet flight up there? <laughs> my my um, nephew got married years ago up near Newcastle. And I got a flight from Stansted to Newcastle. One hour. Going there cost me 35 quid. Coming back cost me 10. It was like the flight time was 7 a.m. or something crazy. 10 quid. I couldn't even do that with the petrol. <laughs> Six grand? Oh, we've got a scuba outfit there. Oh, yeah. We can go diving. Go diving, but we don't have enough money for a hundred grand thingy. Do you want to see the reactor? So, can you build things like this on the base? Yeah, you can build all this. All these these things here are called slider tracks, and you can put them on your ships and stuff as well. Nice. And except for some of the, like, the little decoration items, like the fluorescent tube lights and some of the rail, and then like the little CV radios, things like that in inside buildings. Pretty much all the structure of these buildings is made with in-game materials that you can actually build with. Mr. Yoni, I would not be able to deal with a 10 to 24 hour bus ride. I'd just go completely crazy. I think so, Bobba. I think you're um, you're missing out on a seriously decent game. It's like Factorio, right? The the graphics on Factorio are deliberately kept like that to optimize things. Because when you start having sandbox physics games, the amount of Aha. processing it needs is insane, and they can't. They have to compromise on something. Oh yeah, what's all this? Ten grand. And five grand. A fluid cannon, so we can we, actually put we fire, actually, fight fires. Yeah, and we have a hundred grand. Nice. Is this the reactor? I uh, know this is where you dump uh, radioactive waste. I, f I thought the reactor was down here, but it's not. Wait, you get a mission to dump radioactive waste into the sea? What, that's a uh, like a um, like a cooling area or something. I can't remember what it is, but. Um, yeah, you have to jump in a forklift and you drive these waste barrels onto this ramp and then you bring them down here and you have to use that crane to dump them. That's a mission? Yeah. The sleeping buses are with bunk beds. It wouldn't be so bad if you could like sleep on a bed. I just hate being sat in a chair for like twelve hours, like you get on a bus or a plane. It's just oh, can't sleep properly. Yep, we got a hundred k now for the base. Ah. 
Oh, that's where the vault is, through that door. Reactor! And there's nobody here manning it's all. Yep. It's all ours to play with. What's this all about? This is the steam turbine. What generates the old electricity. You can play it single player, you can play it MP. It's up to you. Yeah, have you seen the price of a bed on a plane? Viking captain. <laughs> uh, I don't know if there's any beds around here. Otherwise we could sleep. What you've got to understand about a bed on a plane is it takes up the space of two seats. So it's at least the price of two seats. What are you after? I was just looking to see if there was a bed, like, so we could sleep to the next mission. Mm, not here. But we can just go by the island. Yeah, that's true. It's just a matter of which 100 grand island do you want? Uh, we didn't take a look at the second one, did we? We can have a look at it, see what it's like. Well, it's just the north, I think. Yes, that is the one just north of us. So let's just jump in the boat and drive there. Yep. I'll take the safe way down. You do that. I'm in the boat. <laughs> go, go, go! Is it worth the price? Dude, it's like £10 this game. It's just sandbox fun for 10 quid. You can't go wrong. No, Mr. Yoni, we're playing it in a, in a particular game mode that... I, I can show you at the end if you want. When you create a save game, there's a ton of options about whether you want to sandbox it, whether you want career, whether you want to die, whether you want it to auto-save. There's just so many options. Whether you can stop... Whether you can teleport around the map or not. Just going to save quick. Vizard, thank you for two months. Before we finish tonight, I want to show people the tsunami. Yes, yes, that's uh, that's a must. So maybe we stick it into advanced mode, load up some one of your creations and click tsunami. Yeah. you got to see that before we finish tonight, guys. Happy anniversary. These hundred grand owns are small. Yeah. Coopster, thank you for 46 sure months, sir. Almost four years. On. But I mean, it's a start, isn't it? I, I guess this one's just a chopper pad. That for 100 grand? You've got to be joking me. Yeah, there's not. this one's got even less on it, because I'm not even seeing any any vehicle editors on this one. I'm only seeing the actual base building part of it. Northeast of where we are was the other hundred grand island. North of that is a cluster of islands with no name on it, and to the right says HMS Midlothian. That'll be another wreck. Well, we have a scuba diving outfit now. Yeah. Somewhere, and I'm not entirely sure where it'll be, or if it definitely is on career mode, but somewhere there's a... There's like oil rig legs, and you can actually build a base up on the oil rig platform. What happened to the spotlight? Messing about with it. <laughs> Are you trying to signal for Batman? Yeah, just the bat signal's gonna. Uh, it's a it, basically Jack's running the server, and I just connected to it. 
as a Steam friend. It's been a sub for almost three years, Vizard. Ah, oh, no, have you gone on... Dude, have you, um... You're on two months now, which basically means you had a, a break for more than 28 days. So you've lost your, um... Lost your chain. And they're only going to fix that in January. Right. You know what? <clears throat> I've had enough. It was pretty obviously a troll from the beginning. He ain't coming back. This is the island, isn't it? The hundred grand one. Yeah, this is it. There's like a little cove around the back of it. Yeah, I know it was benefit the doubt. I, I, Dre, he's been in chat for like over an hour and a half. I've been watching what he's saying. Um, somebody gifted him a sub. It was identified as a troll fairly early on, even by people watching. And I was sat there thinking, yeah, this is a troll. But we tried to help him out, give him the benefit that out stuck with it. But when somebody starts turning around and going, how to get Google, what is a browser? Yeah, okay, y you're done here. On your two day old account, you're done here. So, I don't know, is it worth buying Sunny Island? Well, it lets us build, doesn't it? But we can put a bed down straight away, can't we? Yeah, and it didn't exactly take us that long to make a hundred grand. And now we know about sleeping until a mission pops up. I don't know if this uh, boat's going to stay here. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed. That's well, you we... could drive it into the little cove around the back. You should stay in there. It seems to be staying here. Okay. Rob, dude, I'm sorry I had to ban him after you gifted him a sub. I'm sorry you, you know... Effectively wasted your money on him. The uh, sign is up here. Well, you know, we tried, and for the good so of everybody. We go Sorry, what? We're, we're going for this. Why is it raining oil? Is it? Yeah, look. Just look at the floor, you torch, and look at the drops. It's raining oil. <laughs> yeah, they do look like it. <laughs> go on, buy it then. Let's, let's do it. Okay. Cha Chang. Island now. Workbench not available. Remove vehicle from zone. I'll move it. Is that our boat? Yeah. Workbench mm -hmm. edit vehicle in zone. Huh? Yeah, there you go. Okay. We can edit. Cool. Right. right. So what does this one do? I'll move out of the grassy area just in case. What does this let us do then? It looks identical to the other one. Create this structure. is to create structures. So if you get rid of the boat out of there, and then you can actually, like, whatever you build will then sit flat on this piece of grassland. I mean, I agree, dude. Everybody so runs their channel differently. House, sit on this bit of grass. You know, we've had plenty of trolls over the years here. We know how to deal with them. But I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. Some people can be brought round. Some people are just there to wind up. Good night, Dr. D. So how do we create a structure then? You use the same blocks that you've been using to build boats. At the top, if you click on new. Which I have done. Yeah. And then just um, start building blocks. Uh, like, just get the, like, the, the basic block you start with. So if I create a block and put some beds on it? Yeah, I mean, you could just... You could just put a floor down with just some beds that are sat up on top of it, and then that's it. 
if you want to go into a bit more detail, you could put the four walls on a roof on it and a door. So you want a house now, is that what you're saying? <laughs> well, whatever you want to build. If you want to just lay some beds on the ground, that's fine too. Maybe a cabin, uh-huh. Oh, man, you're on a roof as well. <laughs> well, if it's not too much to ask. There we go. Now we need a door. Door frame. Door frame corner. Door frame edge. That's if you want to make your own custom sealable door. Otherwise, you can just use a door. Well, I'm searching for door. And they're the only two results I have. Ah, okay. Yeah, the only thing is you don't have the parts you need to make the door that goes inside of the frame, so you might as well just stick a hole in the wall. And a window? Oh, we can do windows, large windows. That's fine. I think the characters are like seven blocks high or five blocks high. It's a large window. Just try and get some windows in so it's not completely horrible inside. Who was that? Uh, Dodgen Cessna Gaming. Thank you for subbing. Welcome to the new house. Thank you very much for your support. How good do an Oasis wild? I'm not sure what you mean. All right, let's paint this thing. Oh, we get a skylight as well. Fancy. Oh, yeah. Nothing but the best. No door, but you get a skylight. <laughs> a Dak Amp Island. Um, the problem is it's a different division. Has to be a flat roof for now. Yeah, that's fine. Now it's a bunker. I am limited by the pallet I have available. Rubbish. Hot. I'm not even calling it a house. Spawn. Okay, where the heck is... What is it doing up there? Oh, yeah. Um, in the build screen, uh, if you grab it with the move tool and lower it right down. I 
saw the move tool somewhere. Move tool's disabled. Move your uh, vehicle within the bounds of the edit grid. Yeah, that's what you need. Why is it disabled? Oh, it's gone. It's gone again. Um. Oh, I know what you could do. Hang on. Yeah, try, um, you could, if you grab it with the select tool, you can move the whole thing down that way. Not the select tool, sorry, the, um, <laughs> oh, the one on the, the very far right top icon. Selection grid? Yeah, that's it. If you, if you resize that so that it's, it fits around the parameters of your build, and then you can cut and paste it right down on the floor.